welcome back to the Houdini Firmograph tutorial series. Now, if you're getting into Houdini, I feel like it's a safe bet that you've seen the major laser video that Method Studios did a few years back. If not, just pause this video and go watch it. it the link's in the description. So it's a Houdini person's dream. If you really want to break it down, no one effect in this is extremely complex. And it's all actually pretty doable, but the sheer amount of variety combined with the realistic lighting, colorful backgrounds, and great editing makes it such an inspiring project. Anyways, enough ogling over that video. Uh, today we're going to cover the base setup needed to achieve all these effects, where you can do whatever look you want and just apply it to any kind of animation, the point deform node. And we're going to use that to create a simple scene. So to get the effect, we're going to need some character animation. So make a mocap biped and select the one with the one at the end. We're using this one because if you go to the animation and set it to rest, you get this nice T-pose, which is always nice to work with. So make a copy, hide the original, and we're going to set this one to zombie because why not? So make a geo node, and inside we're going to use something called object merge to bring in our animation. So if you click our mocap biped one and scroll down to select the geo now if you make a copy of this and just change the one from two that'll bring in our animation so now this rest position is nice but the legs are a little tight and i'm kind of worried that the effect might get screwed up so we're going to use a soft transform to select the bottom of one of these legs and just move it out a bit by translating and rotating And then just repeat that same process on the other side. Now we want to make a bunch of points. So just drop a normals node now and set to points and then a scatter node. And I'm going to set the total count to 10,000. We'll start with some color animation. So drop down a point bop and then a turbulent noise and promote all these parameters. Drop down a ramp and hook that up to the color. Okay, come back up and I'm gonna crank the amplitude to four. Mess around with the frequency a bit and just set the colors to something, whatever you like. So I want the noise to move backwards across our person. So in the offset Z, I'm gonna type dollar f times minus 0.1 and just hit play and i'm gonna i'm gonna mess with these settings a little bit more okay now before we move on we're going to want to use the intensity of this noise later so go back in and after the noise we drop a fit setting the lower range halfway so that way we only capture the highest points of the noise and bind export that to make a parameter called disp for displacement. All right, let's set up pscale next. So make a point bot named pscale. And then inside use a random on the PT num of ramp set to spline. And a fit node promoting the new min and max and bind export that to pscale. Make a sphere set to polygon and move the center to one on the Z. Drop a pack node and then copy it to the points. Now I'm gonna just mess around with the P scale settings. I like to use the ramp to get a bunch of small ones with just a few large ones like this, but you can do whatever you like. All right, now let's get the zombie walking. So hook this up to a point deform node. And if you hover over this middle dot, you can see that it says rest position. So hook that up to our deformed T pose, then hover over this last circle, and you can see deformed position. So hook that up to our animation. And it's alive. If you're getting any floaty bits, you may need to mess around with these radius or max point sliders to fix that. For our sake, it looks good. 
The reason that this works is because both our rest and animation have the same point numbers since it's coming from the same mesh. And it's important that the point numbers stay the same because that's how this effect works. So finally, let's use that displacement attribute that we made. So make a point fop and we'll use a displace along normal node. Hook that up the P and the N and then wire out the P and bind our displacement attribute and hook that to the amount. Then promote the scale. And if you come out and move that up, you're going to see that nothing actually happens. And that's because the point deform wants to recalculate the normals. But it's a packed object, so it's just returning zero. So if you just uncheck recompute affected normals. And if you go into our copy to points, and here if you just delete this, carrot n you can see it's working now i'm just gonna change the scale a bit and we've got our point deformed zombie blob thing i hope you like this quick tip because we're definitely going to be using it again later but until then check out our project files from the site and just keep making cool shit.